Hello friends, estimation and measurement are another important mathematical theme of early classes. Concrete learning material experiences have to be provided in order to make the children relate their learning with daily life. A string has been provided in mathematics learning kit to be used for the learning purpose. Let's see, can you estimate what is the length of this string? Most of you may estimate it as 1 meter long because you may have used 1 meter length in different contexts in your life and could estimate 1 meter length. Friends, the main objective to provide this string is that child develops the estimation skills and accumulates lots of experiences regarding understanding of length from the very beginning. This one meter long string is marked in two colors, red and white. Each colored part is 10 centimeter long. In the early classroom, it is not necessary to use the words meter or centimeter, but can be used in the classroom as one complete string and each part as one unit. Like if I measure one side of this book, I can say length of the side of the book is one red unit, one white unit and a little less than third unit. So I can say the length of the side of this book is little less than three units. Similarly, in the classroom, children can be asked to measure table, door, board, notebook, pencil box, etc. using non-standard, non-uniform units like fingers. See, four fingers, four more makes it eight fingers, eight plus four, twelve fingers and 12 plus 4, 16 fingers. So I can say the length of the side of this book is 16 fingers. Or they can use hand span. One and a half hand span will be the side of this book. Or they can use foot length. Then using non-standard but uniform unit like a pen. One pen, two pens, approximately. The length of the side of this book is one plus one, that is approximately two pens. Or they can use euclips or any uniform objects they can use which is available in surrounding. And let children explain how they are measuring. So friends, let's go into the classroom and see how children are involved. Using body parts to measure length create situations where length of the same object varies due to variations in measuring standards. Such a situation creates a need for a uniform unit of length with which every child should measure the length of the object around him or her. Once the child has experienced all such situations, standard measure of length can be introduced on first estimating the length and then verifying it through actual measurement. Creates a challenge to all the students and makes the measurement much more interesting and fun. चलिए 
ऐसा करते हैं हम एक रस्सी ले लेते हैं Welcome back friends after the classroom activities the teacher may initiate the discussion about the need of standard units for measuring length in early primary classes it is important to make them feel or realize the need and importance of standard unit for measurement and let children explain how they are measuring and what are the challenges they are facing as at some point of time they will find differences in terms of length of the same objects due to non standard units children may be able to realize and share that accuracy at the time of measuring by repeating the unit is important at that point of time the importance of standard units can be pointed out in the classroom 1 on experiences will provide foundation for developing understanding about measurement of length to reach to the introduction of the string may require repetition of the activity in different contexts and time of some days after providing many experiences in different context children can be introduced with meter and later can use as 1 meter long 2 meter long etc